logical people draw conclusions based on the evidence at hand. Illogical people hear a story and run with the story regardless of whether or not it fits the pretenses of logic. Like I said before in Dan's world, logic is not how you see shit and how you think shit. Logic is a principle. If an object is an apple, it is therefore not an orange. That's logic. <laughs> if a room holds a capacity of 10 people, logically you're not going to be able to fit 100 people in there. Logic is a principle, not what you think. So before anybody watches this video, I want them to apply, try to apply logic the best that they can. Not their reasoning, not your rhetoric, not your perspective. Remove your perspective because this video ain't going to be Dame talking. I might be using my voice, but this ain't me talking. This is logic talking for us to formulate a conclusion for ourselves. Now. Kobe Bryant reportedly was in talks to launch shoe company and leave Nike. This was reported December 31st, like two weeks ago. Leaving Nike. You guys do know Nike is a billionaire conglomerate and Kobe has made billions, possibly trillions for Nike. It's not my words. This is the truth. Now, <clears throat> it's alleged that he prepared to leave Nike. But he was partnered up with a guy named Fishavar. I forget his first name, but a series of tweets. Oh, okay, here it is. According to Shervin, oh, he got a double double name. Shervin, Shervin, Pishavar, an Iranian American entrepreneur and co founder of transportation technology company Virgin Hyperloop, he and Brian were in talks to develop his own shoe company called The Mamba. So Kobe was planning to leave Nike, big trillionaire conglomerate, big machine, big corporation, elitist corporation that we talk about to start his own black owned business called the Mamba. Right. My opinion has yet to be said in a series of tweets. Fisher wrote, I met with Kobe late December 19. Kobe wasn't happy with Nike and was going to leave in 2020. Kobe was going to start Mamba, a shoe company owned by players. He passed away weeks later. Now, we don't know if this is true. This is hearsay, right? So we can only assume. Now, we have to find out whether or not his words are valid or not. But if we assume them to be true, unless you guys can assume him to be wrong, it depends on how you just look at life. But I'm going to assume he's being true just because... To look at the variables from that standpoint, then we can assume to be false and why he would say something, say a falsehood such as this. But if you assume this to be true, even remotely true, that he was going to leave Nike, then now that makes Kobe a competitor of Nike. Now that makes him the opposition of Nike. That potentially means people won't join Nike. People will join Mamba. Depending on if this statement is true or not. If it's not true, then hey, we can uh, just dismiss it for what it is. But the guy made a statement. I'm assuming that people just don't blatantly lie for their own perverse reasons all the time. So assuming that this has any validity, Kobe is now an enemy to Nike. That's my first assumption. Assuming that this is right. Given the pretenses, Kobe is no longer an ally to Nike. Nike is a corporation. Nike is a business. Take your emotions out this shit. Okay. These are his tweets. I met with Kobe in late December 19. And somebody can't confirm this. I can't confirm it. But somebody in the world can confirm it. He says it. He's a validated check. I know you niggas love the niggas with the checks. So... Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. We don't know. But assuming it's true, he was going to start Mamba, a shoe company owned by players. He passed away weeks later. He was about to do business, was going to eclipse his sports career. So Kobe was on to ventures, capitalist ventures that was going to show a black man thriving in capitalism. Anybody who's seen Kobe can attest to his strong will and his determined mind state. 
Him being a competitor to Nike, to these big elitist corporations, means he is now potentially an enemy to Nike. And Nike has unlimited resources at their disposal. Okay. Now, assuming that, assuming that pretense is accurate, let's go to something else, which is definitely accurate. Kobe was in a lawsuit with Big Pharma Company of using illegal substances under his name, Black Mamba. So, Kobe Bryant and his legal team were going with a new game plan in their battle against high-tech pharmaceuticals for the rights to use the name Black Mamba. So he was trying to gain rights to, shit, his name. Black Mamba was coined by Kobe Bryant. But Nike, these big elitist companies, Big Pharma, they will use Kobe Bryant's name, LeBron James, your favorite celebrity. They will have rights to what they created. So Kobe was trying to gain back rights to Big Pharma in 2019, suing them. Directly making him opposition to Big Pharma, high tech. And while while doing that, he was also looking to lose his partnership with Nike. Assuming that uh, my man's statements are viable. If we assume that. <clears throat> now, Kobe died weeks later. In a helicopter crash. Allegedly. Now again, that's hearsay. <laughs> We can assume based on what somebody told us. The same way we can assume that what this guy said about Kobe leaving Nike might be true or false. When the media reports that he died from a helicopter crash, a random uh, accidental crash, we can assume right or wrong. Now, just my premise. This is my opinion. The media has lied to me so many times. I don't know the guy who uh, tweeted, but the media is known for lying. So if they're known for lying to me, I'm going to assume that they were lying to me. And <clears throat> now that doesn't go solely on the principles of this logic scale, which I mentioned, but that does have some deduction to it. If somebody's a liar known for lying, then the likelihood of them lying again is very likely opposed to somebody who hasn't shown you any lies. And then you assuming them to be a liar. That's less logical than assuming a liar to be a liar. So, assuming that their story, not even saying it's completely false, assuming that they may not be telling the truth, I got to go to the logic of how people even die in this world. And then you look at the odds of death. You got shit like electrocution, 1 in 12,000. Statistically, math is logic. <clears throat> estimations dog attacks you got a one in 118,000 chance of dying from a dog attack passenger on an airplane kobe was on a helicopter so this is not an airplane but on an airplane few two deaths in 2018 to even calculate so the odds of dying on an airplane is very scarce now a helicopter it's more frequent the chance statistically as far as we know of dying in a helicopter crash is about one death in a hundred thousand hours of travel. If we assume the planned helicopter flight will be about one hour, considering all factors, an individual in that type of flight would have the chance of dying at 0.00001%. So almost no chance. Kobe's flight was less than an hour. He was going from, I think, Cali to Cali, I want to say, a 30-minute flight. So the chance of him dying in a random helicopter crash, statistically, logically, this is not dang speaking right now, is less than a percent of a percent of a percent of a percent of a percent. Helicopter crashes, but that's the story you were told when the likelihood is that. Not to mention it's Kobe Bryant, superstar uh, prevent all these type of measures from happening methodical genius in my opinion to ensure that something like this wouldn't happen get the best helicopter possible right but let's look at the odds of being murdered one thing they say if you don't want to increase your odds of being murdered don't live in these two places america or africa where murder rates one in 6100 
more than four times as high as the west of the rest of the world so you have a one in 6100 chance of being murdered in america when it comes to how you might die as opposed to almost a one in a hundred thousand chance of dying in a helicopter this is not me talking these are the odds and if you're gonna assume that he has competition such as high-tech big pharma and Nike then they by any means will do anything to eliminate their competition y'all gotta stop thinking like moral beings like how you are yes we citizens are moral beings but the people who control this board the elitist they don't give a fuck about Kobe kids Motherfuckers eat babies. Motherfuckers harvest hearts. These are the elitists that y'all act like don't exist. These are the people who are ahead of the figureheads in Nike. The people we see in Nike are not the heads. The head of the head. And if this guy is competition, that's the black mamba. If he's the competition in your field, nigga, you better be scary. You better be scared because he's coming to dominate any field he's ever been in. So again, this is I'm not even formulating my conclusion. I don't know what happened. I can honestly say I don't know exactly what happened. But when you talk about logic, probability, odds, the chance of dying in a 30-minute helicopter flight, one death in 100,000 hours of travel, opposed to just being an American, black American, what's the odds of, okay, we're going to do this. What's the odds of a black American getting murdered? <laughs> let's let's see those. Odds of black American. You have to factor in all the variables, right? Kobe Brown was a black American. Murder rate of black Americans is four times the national rate. So if we assume, so four times, right? Let's go back. So if we assume one in 6,100, if you have four times the chance of one in 6,100, 6,100 divided by four, what does that make? About 1,500? You got a one in 1,500 chance of your death being due to murder. So a black American being murdered is way more likely than a black American dying from a helicopter crash. That's just statistics. That's just logic. Don't take it up with me. Don't call me conspiracy theory. Don't call me nothing. I ain't even concluded nothing. I don't know what happened. I'm just saying logically. A black man in America, and it ain't no stats for being at odds against Big Pharma. <laughs> Just know that that's a big conglomerate and a big enemy to have. It ain't no odds as to what will happen if you against or oppose Nike as a black American. Have your discernment. Let me know your thoughts, your comments. I just feel it's pertinent to connect certain dots. When logic, when logic sees fit, let's not ignore it. Logically, it says that he may have died another way. You look up faking your death. That might be less likely than a helicopter crash. But I'm not going to do that to y'all, Mental Matrix. Y'all don't. Y'all already believe something. So when you already believe something and somebody thrusts an idea outside of your matrix, it hurts your brain. hurts your head. So I'm not even going to say nothing about faking a death, knowing the enemies are coming. This is all, this is all the realm of ideal, formulating speculation from the logic. So I'll let y'all do the formulations. Kobe Bean was a great. Do we know the truth as to what happened to Kobe Bean? Let me know your thoughts, your comments. It's your boy, Dang.